So when the when the wool comes into the wool store from a small grower, um, what what's the process then? What do you you take the wool in, and what happens with the with with the wool, and what happens with the with the client who brings the wool in? Yeah, well, as I said, like uh, we've got a set of scales that we might show later on yep. at the door here, and uh, instantly we weigh the wool, uh, and then I'll price the wool on the current market, and then I'll pay. Pay that person straight out yeah. on the spot, and then that wool I'll take down the back probably. And depending on whether it's been skirted or not skirted or whatnot, I'll skirt the fleeces, class them into my individual bins up the back. And uh, Justin, there could be you know, <clears throat> uh, there could be seven or eight or ten different growers' wool yeah. go into a bale of wool. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a. Mm. It could be seven or eight hobby farmers mm. um, that go, that have their wool go into one bale to then be sold at auction. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. You know, people pull up, bang. Uh, we unload the wool. Got a set of platform scales here, digitally read up here. Uh, yeah. So basically, you know. Well, you, drag, you don't want to see how much dra I weigh. Drag the wool on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> drag the wool on, and I'll, rec yeah, I'll just record that. Everything, every weight I'll record down. And this is this premium discount that we were talking about, mate, um, that'll have the micron ranges. Uh, it goes in 0.1 of a micron. There's the premium discounts for length, style, vegetable matter, those sort of things. Yep. Which is what we have to value, value the wool. Um, and basically, mate, you know, once we've, we've weighed it, valued it, and I'll say, Justin, what, that's worth $10 a kilo, such and such. Yep, right, I'm happy, Scott. And then it's off to the office. And um, it's all uh, printed out on, a, on an official receipt, mate. So you, you've got the weights, the descriptions, the prices, so you can take it home and see it all and... You know, I've got these bins set up around around the uh, around the store, and I'll uh, I'll literally class uh, on this table down here. So all these butts have come in from, from hobby farmers, and say a farmer that might have a hundred bales, but he had half a bale left of something. So these will, I'll just have to throw them out as best I can. Skirt, skirt them up, as we sort of said. You know, just it'll it'll be, I'm sure, on the on the shearers' uh, podcast with the handling, and then my pieces are in here and my bins are lined up. So I'll I'll have, uh, you know, this is a line of coloured wool, as in yellow. So it, it goes into one, and then I'll have a, a sort of 21 to 22 micron broader. Micron Merino to a sort of 19 and a half, 20 micron wool to 17, 17 and a half micron wool. Um, and then uh, this one here might be, uh, it's a fine wool, but it's uh, tender. What's the tender? The tender. So it's a, it's just a, a break in the wool. Um, and what's see, the break caused from? A lot of the time, it's uh, animal nutrition, a change of feed, whether it be going from good feed to bad, or indeed from bad to good. It, it causes a break a break in the wool. Um, nutrition. So nutrition causes it. Also, uh, health. Something you know, if a sheep gets sick. Um, and get stressed, you know. That then there might be another, you know, at that time in, in the in the cycle of the wool growth, the wool has broken again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we keep that, keep those inferior types. You know, the, the, the colour, the tender. You know, sometimes you'll get ones that are very matted or cotted. Yeah. Um, we keep all those separate and try and keep these lines. It's just cla yeah, general classing. Here are the first sort of. Uh, are those auction bales that we're talking about. Yeah. So, so uh, we'll sell, we'll act as a broker and sell these on behalf of the grower. 